eSERS has developed two checklists to help you stay on track when you are getting closer to retirement. The Countdown to Retirement Checklist is a guideline of things to consider and steps to take as you plan for retirement. Not every item will apply to you and not every member plans their retirement within the same time frame, but this checklist provides suggestions to assist in your planning. Please ensure that you review your annual statement of account as recommended previously in this program. Remember, any corrections to salary or service must be submitted to PSERS through your school employer. Purchase of service has already been discussed in detail. As a reminder, you must submit your application to purchase service credit while you are still an active and contributing member of PSERS. If you contacted PSERS for information related to divorce proceedings, be sure to submit your required documentation so your benefit can be paid out in a timely manner when you retire. You may find it necessary to designate another person as your agent to handle your personal affairs. A power of attorney, or POA, would give your agent the authority to make permitted changes on your behalf. You may want to discuss this matter with your family or an attorney. The PSERS Power of Attorney form can be downloaded from the PSERS website. It is recommended that you set aside funds to cover at least three months of living expenses while awaiting payment of your retirement benefits. And finally, remember to use the online generic estimate calculator or the estimate calculator found within your MSS portal to produce your own retirement estimates if you are planning to retire more than 12 months into the future. If you are planning to retire within the next 12 months, call PSERS to request your staff prepared estimate. You must have a staff prepared estimate to attend retirement exit counseling. When calling to request your estimate, PSERS staff will interview you to collect the data needed to provide you with the most accurate estimate possible. You will need to supply your projected date of retirement and your current full school year salary. If you plan to retire any time other than the end of the school year, you must provide the total number of days or hours you plan to work during your final school year of employment. Allow four to six weeks for processing of your estimate. Additional time is required for special estimates, such as multiple service, frozen annuity, divorce, and customized options. Your estimate will provide gross benefit amounts under all monthly payment plans and withdrawal options. Once your estimate is requested, you should schedule your PSERS Retirement Exit Counseling Session. Call PSERS to schedule your appointment for Retirement Exit Counseling. Appointments are available throughout the year at various locations and times, but we suggest you make your appointment as far in advance as possible. Please note that the majority of these 90-minute counseling sessions are conducted during the regular workday, so you may need to take time off to attend. Exit counseling helps to address any potential issues in advance to help ensure a smooth transition into retirement. Your retirement counselor will review your account prior to your session, so they are familiar with any special considerations of which you may need to be aware. At your retirement exit counseling session, your PSERS representative will explain all the option choices and the retirement process before you make your final binding decision on your application for retirement. Important information regarding benefit processing timeframes, working after retirement, health insurance, and premium assistance will be discussed. Your application for retirement must be received by PSERS no more than 90 calendar days after your termination date in order to receive retroactive retirement benefits. Even in situations where there is a pending divorce action or purchase of service, to preserve retroactive benefits, your application for retirement must be submitted and received by PSERS within the 90-day time frame. If your application for retirement is received later than the 90th day, your benefit will be effective on the date it is received. Contact your employer to discuss their specific employment exit process. You must discuss your employer's termination requirements with your human resources or business office. Items for discussion could include employer notification timeframes, 
payments for unused leave, options for balance of contract payments, and health care. If possible, you should consider requesting a lump sum payment for your balance of contract in the month employment is terminated instead of having these payments spread out over the summer months. This will allow your employer to submit your final information to PACERS sooner. Financial planners or advisors can be a great source of information regarding money matters. If you plan to consult with an advisor, you may wish to do so prior to attending your retirement exit counseling session. If you are looking for a financial advisor and don't know where to start, the Pennsylvania Department of Banking and Securities has a website that may be helpful. This website can be found at www.dobs.pa.gov. Another website that may be helpful when retiring is the Internal Revenue Service website at www.irs.gov. Here you can find assistance with completing your W-4P. Health insurance is a complex topic, so it is important to research your options carefully. As mentioned previously, when you decide to retire, you must meet with your employer to discuss, among other things, health care. Health insurance has become very complicated and costly, so you should explore all opportunities available to you. PCERS offers group health insurance for PCERS annuitants, or retirees, spouses of annuitants, survivor annuitants, and eligible dependents. This is known as the PCERS Health Options Program, or HOP. If you are in membership class TG, TH, or DC, you must contact FOIA to discuss distribution options for your DC plan. There are financial wellness educational articles on the PCERS website. The article entitled Exploring Your Distribution Options is a valuable resource for those terminating employment. Additional information will be sent from VOIA once your termination of employment has been reported. VOIA cannot process a distribution request until the later of 30 days after the termination date reported by your employer or the last day of the month in which a balance of contract is reported by your employer. As we conclude our Foundations for Your Future program, remember to contact PCERS anytime you have a concern or question. We are here to assist you. To contact us in writing, be sure to include your identifying information so PCERS can review your account. Be sure to include the following. The date, your name, your PCERS ID or last four digits of your Social Security number, your inquiry details, and your signature. You can follow PCERS on social media. Follow us on Facebook at Penn PCERS or on X at PA underscore PCERS.